Hey guys, it's Jim Nix. How you doing? Happy New Year again. I'm just working on a little video today in Aurora HDR. I'm going to drag this set of brackets over here. I'm going to choose alignment, turn on this stuff just in case, and hit create HDR. Let me bring that in here. I've been using Luminar a whole lot lately, and I thought it was high time that I uh, do an Aurora video. I still use Aurora. absolutely love it. It's great for HDR, and although sometimes I'll take HDR photos from Aurora and then go further edit them in Luminar. I'm also doing a lot of just uh, straight up, you know, 100% Aurora. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. So uh, let me get that built here. Come on, Aurora. Aurora. Here we go. It's coming. Uh, this was a sunset I shot in Rome when I was there. Uh, well, it was last year now. I was going to say earlier this year. Uh, it was a stunning sunset. Uh, here's the base HDR. And uh, I was there one evening, and they had a big thing that was happening the next day. And so uh, all these chairs were out here. Anyway, I just love the architecture. It's obviously a, a gorgeous place. The light, as you can see in the sky, was just beautiful. Um, but uh, it's kind of lost, right? So we're going to bring that back. So I'm going to start out here. I think the first thing I'll do is bring the temperature up a little bit because it was very warm scene. And maybe I'll tint it a little bit as well. Let's see here. And then I'm going to pop a little saturation and vibrance and, you know, something like that. Getting a little bit of the color back. You can see what that's done. There's the before kind of blue. And uh, it was definitely more of a golden hour than it was a blue hour. Okay, next I'm going to add a little bit of structure. I love clarity. It's just probably one of my favorite sliders here. It just gives such a nice pop to the photo. And I'm going to use a little bit of structure here as well. HDR structure, maybe something like that. Just want to bring up some of the details here in the building because it's, uh, you know, it's it's richly detailed, right? So I want to show that. Okay, next I'm going to pop over here to the tone curve. I don't know if you use the tone curve much. Um, I love it. It's it's a great way to really have a huge impact on your photos without really doing very much. Um, you can do it in the different channels, and there's videos about this. I won't dive into it here. I'm just going to stick on the uh, sort of the full RGB channel. And I'm just going to do a slight S curve. So I'm going to drop a point there, move that up, drop a point here, and move that down. And it just gives it a nice little pop. Let me show you the before and the after, right? Nice little pop there, which I think looks good. Um, after this, I'm going to go into what they call color toning, also known as split toning. And I'm going to click through a couple of these presets here. I think, let me see, that one or this one. Let's go with this one. It's a little more uh a little more on the orange side which i like here um i gotta look at my notes here i want to take a look i'm actually making some adjustments based on what i did in my notes so hang on just a second here i want to protect the highlights a little bit and then this is going to come down a little bit don't want it to be too blue i think that looks pretty good let me see what i've done here yeah yeah i like that a little bit more of that golden kind of look which i think looks good Okay, so I'm going to go add a new layer, and in this adjustment layer, um, I have some notes I'm looking at of how I process this because I can't remember all this stuff, and I'm not um, making this up as I go. I actually came in here, and I bumped up the temperature a little bit more because it was a pretty warm scene, and so I'm going to bring that back a little bit, and so that's a, that's a bit more like how I remember it. There's the before and the after. You can tell. Well, let me just turn the layer off. You can tell the before, even though I brought up some of the golden tones, it's still kind of blue in the architecture, and I just like that better. I've taken out quite a bit of the blue by adding uh, just another layer, and sometimes I do that with colors and temperature and saturation. I just add a new layer. Some, to me, it's kind of cleaner. Uh, it probably doesn't make a difference, but it's just what I do. So, um, And then the next thing I do would just be add some denoise. Um, these are JPEGs, so they're picking up a little bit of grain in the sky from the structure and all that. Um, there's not really a whole lot of noise in the photo. Um, I, I shot this with my Sony, which is really good at, at, at controlling noise. Um, I think something like this looks good. And then I'm just going to take the brush and I'm going to go uh, paint it into the sky. So let me get over here. I want full opacity. Take the size down. And I'm going to do this kind of roughly here in the sky just to sort of get the point across. Um, Sort of, if I was doing this for real, I would go a little more detailed around these statues here that are on the top of the Vatican and just sort of clean that up a little bit. 
let me show you my mask. Yeah, kind of messy, but you know, the point is I'm just applying this across the sky. In real life, like I said, I go a little cleaner around the edges. Uh, so now that I look at it, I notice there's a little bit of halos kind of around this. So the way, one of the ways at least to fix these is go back into the tone mapping menu. And I'm gonna take the HDR look down and I'm gonna drop that considerably. I don't, I don't wanna overdo the tone mapping or make it sort of too HDR-ish. I wanna bump up the exposure maybe a tiny bit and maybe move the highlights up a little bit. Now let me go back and turn these other layers on and I think that looks a lot better. I think the halos are uh, uh, have been you know reduced significantly. So let me show you the before and after. There's the before, right? Very blue, very sort of washed out, uh, lacking a lot of the golden tones of this uh, beautiful golden hour and, and really blue in the architecture. Stonework picks up blue quite a bit, I find. And here we are, the after. I've uh, been able to you know get rid of a lot of that and really just bring it back to the way it, it looked when I was there, which is like this. And so uh, that's a quick workflow in this photo. Um, it didn't do a whole lot, really. I mean, I used a few adjustments here in the base image. I happened to do uh, the color temperature again on layer one and then a little bit of denoise. But it's just something I was working through. Thought you might want to see it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Adios.